But like when an idiot I was when I was driving all those people, I thought, I can't look at the directions, and I just kept going and getting more lost. And like my sister-in-law, she stopped, and she could hear her husband's voice, and then he found her. And sometimes we just keep running and running and running and running, thinking, I'll, I'll go to church, I'll be good. When God says, you know what, little child, I want to meet you right where you're at. There are two things we prayed for about 15 minutes ago. And they were that God would show us his heart and that he would meet us where we're at. Tonight, if you're away from God, if you're a little sheep, you've lost your way. God says, I will come and meet you right where you're at. There's a response that God calls us to do. I'm going to pray for you. Say, Michael, let me know again what we're going to pray for. I'm going to ask if there's anyone here that wants to surrender their life, not just an emotion, but completely give their heart to God. You've been carrying some stuff around with you, and maybe you're in some bad stuff. Maybe you're addicted to something. Maybe you're just broken on the inside. And you believe that this giver of life, the forgiving person, the great physician, can meet you where you're at. And he just said, Behold, I stand at the door of your heart. You will hear my voice. That that's God tugging on your heart and open the door and surrendering to Him. He says He'll come into you via prayer. Would you close your eyes? I'm going to ask you to bow your hearts with me. And I want to give an invitation to anyone. Maybe there's someone here tonight who says, Yes, Lord, I want to come back to you. I want to find you. Or you finding me. Dear Jesus.